Eastern U.S. getting hammered once again. The worst of the storm is expected to hit the D.C. area. Schools and some hard-hit hard -hit spots are closed today, and more than 2,000 flights have already been canceled. Meteorologist Indra Peterson is tracking it all for us live on the National Mall in Washington. How's it looking now, Indra? Okay, the snow continues to fall. The winds continue to howl out here, but the biggest change we're noticing is again all the rain or the puddles that were left on the ground from earlier morning's rain before the snow came in is now starting to freeze over. So you're really seeing this difference. Why is that so key? Because again, I'm going to walk you over to the roads where you can tell there's still a lot of now rain turning into ice, making these roads very dangerous and slick. So it's good news that the Capitol and the government is shut down today. Keep in mind, it looks like D.C. is going to be the bullseye of this storm now earlier thought was that it was going to be farther north. So if you're in New York City now just looking for about under an inch. But today in D.C. we can talk about almost a foot of snow in this region. Also in portions through Virginia. Keep in mind it's going to keep coming down as we go throughout the day. Not tapering off today until about 7 to 9 p.m. Then finally we'll exit out of the region behind it though. It's going to be leaving a lot of icing conditions into the southeast. There are power outages already into play. Big concern as even more cold air is filling in behind it guys. All right, Andrew, thank you. For but I want to show you just a few feet away. You can actually see the remnants of these puddles on the ground. I mean, just a few hours ago, we were talking about rain and even some freezing rain. So we had a lot of icing across the area. Now the concern, of course, is that temperatures will be cooling off as we go throughout the day. Many places on the East Coast will have highs in the early morning hours and temperatures could drop the next 30 degrees over the next few hours. And of course, another foot of snow, hard to believe, still making aim here at the Mid-Atlantic this morning. A nasty mix of winter weather spanning a whopping two dozen states is wreaking havoc for 90 million people. It's a little nuts knowing that it's March. The massive storm pushing its way from the Midwest to the east, bringing treacherous ice, powdery snow, and even thunder. The snowstorm forcing federal offices in Washington to close this morning in preparation for up to 10 inches of the snow. On Capitol Hill, the House and Senate postponing all votes until Tuesday. The nation's capital hit hard two weeks ago, buried under a massive snowstorm that dumped more than a foot of snow in just 24 hours. Public schools are closed this morning in Philadelphia, parts of New Jersey, and as far south as Dallas. Kansas City, Missouri, socked with whipping winds, snow, and ice. Single-digit temperatures on Sunday could be the lowest ever recorded for March. The roads in Missouri so treacherous, firefighters had to pry a man from this car that skid and crashed. Illinois got hammered with enough thunder and sleet to create whiteout conditions, making driving on these roads nearly impossible. Plows worked feverishly to keep up with the ice. In Colorado, this frightening 100-car pileup over the weekend killed one and injured dozens. Everything was fine and we weren't going that fast. Then all of a sudden everything just sort of went out of control. And in Montana, an avalanche powerful enough to rip this house from its foundation. Dozens of neighbors armed with shovels safely digging out an eight-year-old boy and two others. So, Kate, I was showing you these puddles on the ground earlier, and there's a reason I'm showing you this, because keep in mind, this is a dynamic storm. We're talking about warmer air first, rain, and then now snow. The reason that's so important, the roads. If you have rain first, they couldn't pre-treat these roads with salt. It's now that the storm is on its way. They have to go out and salt those roads, and that's the concern here, because we are talking about potentially another foot of snow. The bullseye here being really the D.C. area, all of kind of Maryland and out towards Virginia. And this is hard to believe because just two weeks ago, we were talking about the system that brought six inches to a foot of snow across this area as being the biggest snowstorm in three years. The fact that we're having another one, definitely a lot of concern in the region today.